Yeah. Real quick and dirty, like, yeah. do it again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I have the wedge there. I just haven't patched it in yet. So yeah. that was sort of a dual purpose, or actually, 3M was great that he, he could use that to. Part two. This is part two. What's up nerds? My name is Cory Bergeron and you are watching Cory Bergeron Recordings. Before you watch this video, if you haven't already watched part one, make sure to do so. I will leave a link in the description. Some of this may not make sense without watching the first video, so go watch the first video. When I think about the future and what I want to do with audio and what do I want to, I guess, achieve career-wise, I've had this idea, this dream of having a property probably somewhere out maybe in the country where uh, real estate's a little bit cheaper on that property i would have my house and then in the backyard or somewhere else on that property i would love to build a recording studio and not just like a you know like a basement studio or something like that like a substantial recording studio with a really nice live room you know uh, no corners cut a really nice studio i think that would be the dream or i know that would be the dream that would be uh, something pretty special and when i met up with the heavy hearts guys they told me that julius's studio was in his backyard because they had already been there to meet him and just kind of talk game plan and that intrigued me that was really interesting because that's you know, that's what I want to do. So yeah, let's talk about Julius's recording studio. So first off, the property is three acres in size and he has his house where he lives with his family and just behind that, he has his studio. From the outside, the studio kind of looks like a barn. It's kind of got this like cottage feel to it. Um, if you, again, if you're just looking from the outside, you wouldn't really know that it is a recording studio, except if you were to look into one of the several windows, because Julius was really smart in the design and made sure that there was sunlight coming in. Um, I don't know about you, but I've worked in several studios and I think as my life progresses, the more and more I long to see the sun. As I mentioned in the last video, the name of the studio is Arc Recording Studio and I will leave a link to his uh, website and his Instagram down below so you can kind of check it out, stay updated, and kind of just, you know, get to see the, the studio. So let's talk about the build. Julius hired a, a studio designer to design the studio, and they decided that they wanted to do most of the work themselves, most of the labor themselves, to keep costs low. And it took them about two, just over two years to kind of complete the studio. And I believe that we were only the fourth project to come in. So it's kind of special to, to be one of the first people in the studio. Um, but yeah, I can confidently say that I don't think there was a corner cut anywhere because the studio is immaculate. So let's get specific. Within the barn little complex, there is a live room, there is a control room, there is a kitchen, there is a lounge area, and there is a bathroom. The control room is centered around a Neve 5088 console. On top of that, he's monitoring through NS10s, KRK VT8s. He has a bunch of outboard gear to just name a few pieces. He's got uh, four API pre's, two API 550B EQs, a retro 176, the list goes on. So let's move on to the live room. The live room is a large open area. It's really beautiful to look at the wood and the stone that uh, comprise the walls and the acoustic treatment within the room. Julius told me that the wood that is in that room is from trees that they cut down to build the studio. So I think that's kind of special to kind of incorporate a little bit of the nature on your property into the build. There's not much more I can say about the live room other than it sounds awesome and it's big enough to have a band playing live off the floor. Definitely no complaints. <laughs> So, as I mentioned, there is a little kitchen area. The kitchen area is, you know, a little corner, but it's got everything you need. It has a coffee machine, which is super, super important. But what I think was, or what I think is cool about the kitchen is that you can leave the door from the live room open. So the sound from the live room is protruding into the kitchen and they installed a patch panel when they were building the, the entire studio. So you can put a microphone in the kitchen if you wanna record, let's say, drums and get a little bit of extra distance. Those are the type of things that you have to think about before you build the studio to get the, uh, the wiring done correctly and you know tucked away and hidden underneath all the floors and everything like that. I think it's really cool that they thought about that ahead of time and are maximizing the space and making the most out of it. So right next to the kitchen, there's a lovely little lounge area. I can't say it enough. I don't know who like designed the inside of the studio, uh, like the furniture and everything, but uh, they knocked it out of the park. It is a very, very comfortable and cozy place all around. The lounge 
is covered in windows, which is beautiful. So you get some sunlight. You get to remember that you're human. Again, just like the kitchen, there is a patch panel in there. This is also separated by doors. So you can actually, you know, isolate maybe a guitar amp in there if you wish to, uh, which is pretty cool. Again, maximizing this space. And, and I guess to give you the best example of what this room looks like and what this room sounds like, I'll leave a link below to a video that the Heavy Hearts guys recorded. It's a little acoustic cover of one of their own songs. And lastly, there is this. And I think this uh, goes to show the attention of detail put into the entire place. Look at the wallpaper in this room. To show you the level of attention to detail in this place, first of all, check this out. I'm in the bathroom. It smells great. Look at this. It's the same. It's even got a shower. That's crazy. So yeah, in conclusion, it is a beautiful studio. Absolutely beautiful. I love the location. I love the live room. I love the gear. I love the vibe. Um, so I guess it checks everything. I hope that one day I can find myself back there, whether it's uh, watching Julius record another band or recording something there myself. It's, it's kind of nice and it's kind of motivating to see someone that has spent their life recording music be able to achieve that. Kind of gives me hope if I put the work in, maybe one day I can achieve something like that and create my own little dream studio. Okay, so this is the end of the video. There is gonna be a part three. In part three, I'm gonna talk about what I learned during these sessions, what I learned from Julius, what I learned from seeing Julius and the band working together. And uh, yeah, I'm, um, so stay tuned. Yeah, watch, uh, watch that video when it comes out. This is the end of the video. Drop a like if you liked the video. Make sure to subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about uh, the studio. Uh, would you wanna record in a place like this? The answer is yes. And uh, I will see you in the next video.